Well, hello again, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. I am going to attempt to do that Dutch pour the right way. I was watching a lot of um, Rinska's um, videos, and I realized it's better just to put water in it. So, um, this is a, oh, shoot, a 10 by 10 canvas taped on the back push pins in it. This is just Liquitex uh, white. Let me make sure I have no dirt on there. This is just, uh, uh, I'll show you the bottle in a minute. Hang on. Uh, yeah, that, I hope that's enough. Um, I have it upside down, so I'm trying to get the rest of it out. It's just the Liquitex Basics mixed with only water. Now, I did dig this out because, um, to me, this is just a little bit easier to spread this stuff. This might be too thick. I don't know. Now, I didn't want to, um, start some new paints, so I went through my bottles and um, poured, emptied some into cups and then added uh, water. Oh, this might be too thick. I hope not. I hope not. And let me scrape this off onto here. And let me just do this a little bit to get it. I hope that's not lumps. Because this is going to be my second attempt, but my uh, first attempt. Oh, geez. This is why I learned this one from Joe Patty. Um, get yourself a rag of some sort and have it next to you so you can wipe the with water on a paper plate so you can. Uh, get the uh get the um um paint off your gloves okay okay now this one i know is uh these are the the three colors are apple barrel okay so and i know that she doesn't do a lot so we're gonna see um, that was bar and red. That much I know. This is one of the apple barrel reds. I can't remember which one. This is one of the greens, and this bottle wasn't marked, so I have no idea. And I do have the Liquitex um, Basics um, Gold out of the tube that I mixed up. This might look like a, a poinsettia, you know, a Christmas flower, but we will find out. Okay, there's my puddle. Now let me do my white around it. I just mixed up the rest of the Liquitex Basics in here with this, so that might be lumps. I may not have mixed it all the way, but I am not, I'm not so much an acrylic pour as I am a, a resin artist, so this is kind of new for me. Okay, let me pop it to get to get rid of some of the bubbles. And I'm not sure what that is, but I'm getting rid of the stuff. Just popping it real quick to get rid of the bubbles, wiping off my finger because I don't want. I mean, it's better. Oh, I think I just got some paint on my face. Um, I do have my heat gun, um, no, I mean my blow dryer one, um, um, uh, covered. God. This is just, uh, I got this one off of Finger Hut many, many years ago, but it's the only one I had with this attachment, and I have used it for the, uh, 
for the uh, resin. Okay, now I'm going to blow my white over it. And I knew it, the white is too thick. So this may take a minute. Okay, now I'm going to blow it back and I'm not going to do a lot of blowing. And I am going to turn it. Wait a minute, wrong one. I am going to turn it on high so I can maybe get some movement. So here we go. Woo! Flatter, okay. Let me turn it back to low. Now see the low is not good enough for the uh, for the uh, white paint. So I got to remember that next time. Make sure my white is a little bit thinner. Okay. I'm not going to try to do much more. I am going to blow it out a little bit. It looks like the white is covering everything up so the white wasn't thin enough. But I am going to do a couple bl mouth blows like Rinska does. So I apologize if I'm blocking the camera, but I got to get over it. Okay, white was too thick compared to the rest of the colors, but I can always do another one later and add some more water to the white. Yeah, I can see the white is way, way, way too thick. So, this is my first try on a small canvas with only water mixed in. So, I will see how it dries and I will show you in the next video how it looks. I am going to get rid of the air bubbles. So, uh, let me bring it up so you can see. See the white kind of muted everything. I am going to go around and fix where my white's supposed to be at on the corners. I hope it doesn't crack, but we will find out. Okay. Oh, I can't get the paint off my gloves. So... I'm going to take them off because all I need to do now is pop bubbles because I don't see any foreign matter in there you know the um, pet hairs dust my hairs well I have no pets so of course I'm not going to have any pet hair so this is it this is all I'm going to do because I don't I don't know how it's going to dry oops Okay, I can see where I need some white right here. Because I didn't get it down the side. So, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video of me not doing a canvas probably the right way. Uh, excuse that, that was my phone. I forgot to turn off my uh, notifications. So, um... If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, click the little bell for the notifications so you can see when I um, do this, uh, post another video. Um, I love the resin and the acrylic paint right out of you guys. I may end up having to stick to a resin because I seem to suck at acrylic paints. So, um... Thank you all for watching, um, and I hope to see you in my next video. Oh, that looks a little, little, little washed out. I'm still working on my lighting in here, too, because um, I can't figure out how to do it. Anyway, so thank you for watching, 
and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.